Next stage, a man looking for trouble. What can you see beyond the darkness? When you look beyond the darkness, tell me what do you see? It's your boy T-I-N-Y to the P. Yeah, he's looking for trouble here on Twitch.tv with Crash or Jade or Spyro or Leon Kennedy. Is there a new game to start? Is he doing some art? Maybe knowledge of an 80s children's show to impart? Cause he's centiferous, vigorous, rigorous. He's damn vociferous and arting or Mario Karting. He's very carnivorous. Tiny Peter. Tiny Peter. With a great rate of safe states abating his fate, Peter's greeted by emotes of cheaters when people donate. Give him a yeah. or a and we'll build up the hype and I'll struggle to read half the words that you type. So are you ready to go? Come on, what will it be? Are we gaming or painting or watching dated kids TV? Grab a bite, crack a slight, dim the lights, sit tight, cause the stream's about to start and the mics sound right, boy. Tiny Peter. Tiny Peter. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Boy. Tat is coming in. We have Tat. There is an actual, there's an official pile now. Hello. Welcome to the live Friendly stream. ghost. Friendly ghost. Hello, tiny Peter Rustin. Hi. How are you? Good. How was your weekend? Great. It's Monday night and you know what that means. Yes. It can only be a live stream from Master Jedi, tiny Peter Rustin. Mm -hmm. All the best to you, TP, and hope you are having a fantastic day. Sure I am. Um, yeah, last time I streamed, I believe we only had, I say only, like I'm like I'm ungrateful about it. We only so far had two items that had arrived on the tat, I think. Or that might not have been last time I streamed, but certainly last time I talked about it on, on any sort of uh, content. But um, we now have enough individual items that I think it qualifies as a pile. Can you have a pile of two? Maybe? Maybe you can, but now it's more than two, and there's a pile. It's very exciting. Thank you for sending your tat. Um, please keep it coming in if you can. And if you can't, that's fine as well. Don't worry about it. We'll all watch it together uh, in December when the video goes out. Um, hello and welcome to the second half of a spooky playthrough of a spooky game. Goosebumps Escape from Horrorland. I'm very excited to be playing it once again. I've kind of been thinking about it all day, just been looking forward to streaming. Um, so uh, here we are, and I can't wait to get started. Hopefully I'll be able to make it last about two hours, because I think we're probably a bit more than beyond the halfway mark. Um, however, I was uh, doing a little bit of reading about the game today, and there are two little secrets or features or mini-games in this game that I was not aware of and now know about. So we can go and enjoy those. How exciting. Um, thank you, Stephen, for 100 bits there. Uh, I had a very nice weekend, thank you. And uh, I'm very glad to be here streaming this game. It's all very exciting. Two is a couple, three is a few, four is a pile. I think that's the rule. It's good, I like it. Um, brilliant. Well, um, I hope you all had nice weekends as well. Let me know in the chat what you did on your weekends. Anyone do anything exciting? Anything you've never done before? Anything unusual? What do you what what do you do with your weekends usually? And what did you do this this Friendly weekend just gone? Steven Skodas. He's gifted a sub to Dr. Goblin underscore, taking Steven up to twelve ninety two gift subs on the channel. That is an anagram of nineteen twenty two, the year I was born. It's true. Um Mr. Black went to the local Halloween parade. That was pretty fun. I'm getting, you know what, right? I 
get I was got I was a bit annoyed well not annoyed I was a bit grumpy about the fact that on the, not I don't think it was even October I think it was the last week of September some people on the estate I live on started to put up Halloween decorations and look I'm all in favor of Halloween I enjoy it but that's a bit early and even the first of October when most other people started putting theirs up I think is a bit early it's not a month-long festival even Christmas isn't a month-long festival but people still seem to spend all of December doing Christmassy things and, you know, having their decorations up. And, you know, I can cope with that. If on the 1st of December you're putting your tree up and your lights, then go for it. In fact, we do tend to put our tree up as early as in the earliest weekend of December because we go away for Christmas. So we might only get two, two weeks of enjoyment out of our tree. And we always get a real tree and we like the smell of it. So you do want to get a couple of weeks out of your Christmas tree. Right, Christmas, I can cope with it. If you want to spend all of December with your lights on and your decorations and leave them up till Twelfth Night, go for it. Um, Halloween, less so. However, I am now starting to feel more in the Halloween spirit. I think partly from playing my spooky games, um, seeing all the decorations around, and knowing that it's highly likely this year that we will get children knocking on our door asking for sweeties, which historically we have always come prepared for that and they've never turned up we always buy a big bag of lollies or whatever they never arrive and then oh dear guess i'm gonna have to eat the lollies over the next several weeks or two days don't tell my dentist you don't need to tell the dentist she'll see when she next time she looks at my gob um hey cool so the halloween parade i don't i've never been to a halloween parade but that sounds cool uh, Lord Brodfitch usually goes to the hockey, but this weekend went to the hockey twice. How exciting. Stephen Scott is waiting patiently for the last bit of triple jump. Tat, hopefully going to send my box of tat early. Oh, hang on. I've got the wrong window size here. Uh, early next week. How exciting. Um, Mr. Black says Christmas is a three month long festival for some. That is true. Yeah. Um, Christmas tree is up already uh, near where Ellie Reloaded was hanging out. Uh, walking flat down from me left two Halloween buckets of sweets out their door two weeks ago they, they put the sweets out two weeks ago that's really weird I mean it's one thing putting several <laughs> you can tell that some of the houses who live near me the people who live there have all been to the same shop to buy their decorations because I think three houses around this neighborhood have a giant black spider web stretching down from the front of their house into their garden with a spider on it um, so I guess that's just the thing that's currently available at B&M Bargains or something, uh, because there's one of those nearby, or I don't know where else they might have got it from, but, you know, that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah. Um, big spiders. Trick or treat, please. We're starving down here. Mm, yeah, that's the point of Halloween candy. Yeah, indeed. Sorry, I thought you meant putting it out in a bucket two weeks before the date. But no, you mean the point of Halloween candy is buying it, hoping that children don't come, and then eating it all. Indeed. Um, yeah, cool. Well, anyway, speaking of Halloween and spooky things, we should probably get on with the game now, shouldn't we? Um, I flew in Red Stro Squadron with Big Spiders. Trialing Badger. I should be grossly offended by the poor quality of that, but I'm actually impressed and excited by the high quality of it. So, you know, that's that's probably a reflection on me more than anything else. Uh, right, we want this screen, and we'll see if it actually works. Now, I know it looks all wonky there, but if I do this... No. No, it's not. It's not done it. It's not happy. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Yeah, she's right. She's, yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking, Lizzie. Oh, no. Um, Hang on. Let's let's see if we can get this working. I had to flip around with this last time as well, didn't I? What if I do that? I mean, that's something, but it's squished to heck and makes my mouse go all weird. I do need to play it the way that it was before, but I think... Hang on. Let me just do that. And then... Click on that, and then, I don't know, do, do that, and then what if I go full screen now? How's that going to look? It's changing my resolution and all sorts when I do this, but... Okay, 
Well, actually, this is better than what it was doing last week, which is um, that when I tabbed out to change it, it was... Oh, no, now it's... Oh, for flip's sake. Hang on. Right, okay, okay. I think I fixed this. So do that. And do that. I think we are in business. I think. Let me just do that. And now, yes. Okay, you can see it full screen. I can see it full screen. We go on load game. Tiny Peter. And uh, we go for it. Enter. It's a virtual disc. I hope. Okay. So this is where we ended up last time. Vampire Village. Welcome to Doom. Population zero humans. Oh, there's a spider. Oh no. So I've not tested this, but I've seen that apparently, if we head over here, into the middle of Vampire Village, where um, Clay is just sort of bobbing around, if I click on this wall, look at this! You can pick this up. Friendly ghost. Oops, I just hit escape. And you can spray on the wall. It doesn't stay there, though. Uh, friendly ghost. Birdie has subscribed by a Prime for 28 months and said bogeys. Indeed. I did not know that this was an option. You can just come over here and spray paint the wall. It doesn't, as I say, it doesn't stay. Um, don't draw a rocket. I won't draw a rocket. What shall I draw? It's an art stream. If you're spray painting something at home, let me know. Lovely face. So, in all the years that I've played this game, I did not know you could come over to this wall, pick up some spray paint, and draw a man. Um, could have been a gibbon, yeah. Um, looks like the paint can is DJ branded. It is a bit triple jump, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. So th this is the thing, apparently. That's for me. I'll do the next art stream just in this game. Um, but yeah, you can just do that. Now here's the other thing. This is really weird, and I'm trusting that it's true. Uh, we're going to head into uh, back to Werewolf Village through here, and um, yeah, normal man, an innocent man. That kid looks like he needs to pee real bad. That's exactly what me and my uh, brother and sister used to think. The way that Luke stands in Vampire Village, sort of bobbing up and down, like, oh man, I wish they had toilet. No thanks. I mean, please, feel free to go in there if you want to. There's a good chance you'll even find the others. But me? The only place I like to find bats is on a baseball field. Catch you later, okay? All right, you just stay here on your own. That's fine. Um. The only place he likes to see bats is on the baseball field. Uh, yeah, it looks like he, he really needs to pee. Um, right. Apparently, if I come in here to the center of Horrorland Plaza, and if I click on the moon, and then the brown bit next to the tree, there, I think, something really weird happens. You ready for this? No. I don't know where exactly on the moon I have to click. Oh, is it a trick? It wasn't a trick. Hmm. I wonder if there's a very specific place I need to be clicking.
sort of clicking all over the moon in the hopes of triggering the moon trigger. Clicking all over here, hoping that, but maybe in, in clicking anywhere again after clicking on the moon, that's sort of resetting. Oh no! Clicked on the... Hmm. It's a trick rather than a treat. Yeah, it feels that way. Oh! Um... Do I click him? Oh, I do. Well, it it works. Merry Christmas, one and all. A good a good will to all men. It's like a um oh thank you very much. A nice hot drink has arrived as well. Just for the real festive spirit. I mean, they're just MS Paint, aren't they? They're just purely... They're not even disguising the fact that they were drawn in Microsoft Paint. Which was... It was around in, in 1998, right? Or whenever this game came out. Well, this is absolutely piping hot. Too hot. Um, weird that the Scarecrow also disappears, does it? I noticed that. The sign for the Bat Barn. Oh yeah, that is weird. So there you go, we've all learned something new today. That's clearly just an easter egg that was inserted by one of the developers. Great, love it. Um, I'm going to quickly head back to Werewolf Village because not that it matters at all, but um, I can't remember if I grabbed one of the items from a, a little area at the back of the village. I may have done it right at the very beginning of the playthrough and it wasn't even, you know, the muscle memory I have with this game, particularly towards the start of start of it, you know, I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing, but in that little shed there at the back, you turn the light on, grab a little coin out of it. I almost have done it already. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, lovely. Well... Let's see what, if this man says anything about Vampire Village. A ring's just a ring. Oh yeah, he said that last week. A ring's just a ring. It's true. Well, there we go. More of a Christmas egg than an Easter one. Yeah, that's right. Um, feels like they should have been replaced with bats or something and they just never switched out the sprites. Yeah, it does actually. It does feel like placeholder snowmen. That would just, uh. <laughs> that never got cleared out. I wonder if there are any other secrets hiding in this game. Uh, anyway, for a story update for those who missed what happened last week Madison Storm, the creator of Horrorland, has snatched the sniffling, sniveling Morris girl so that she may suffer the magnificent misfortune of my truly transforming, delightfully deforming experiment. Uh, our friend Lizzie. Lizzie Morris, that's why she's the Morris girl, has been taken. We have found her brother Luke, uh, but Luke's friend Clay is still missing. Um, and our friend Stump, he can see him in various... I don't know if that one's Stump, but sometimes on the top of top of this museum you see him. Let's see if we can trigger him. Look at the top of this museum as we scan around. There he is. He was up there. Uh, our friend Stump... Uh, Stump is me, he says. Told us that Clay is elsewhere, so we're heading to Vampire Village in the hopes of finding Clay and or Lizzie. So, I'm going to head back now. Yeah, kind of like an Alan, please add details. It was a bit like that. Adam, please, uh, sorry, Alan or Adam, whoever works at DreamWorks, please add scary things. 
Okay, here we are. Vampire Village. Plus you love Jenny can subscribe. Ghost. Friendly Ghost. By Prime for 39 months now. Alan, please add bats. Uh, thank you very much indeed. New speedrun category for this game. Fastest parping snowman run. Yeah. You gotta do the whack-a-mole. Wha the whack-a-worms. Um... Here's my favourite door in the game. Even though I know that this is a bad thing to do, I used to really enjoy opening this door as a kid. It's just kind of cool that that happens. Can't go in. You can just open and close the door and the bats get you. Take a coin. Um, yeah, this boy, he definitely... Even just looking at him makes me want to go to the toilet. So, you know, there's a trash can here. Should we start the... Stop, no, let's not do a trash can yet. We'll do one today, but let's, let's do some... Let's do some story, let's do some gameplay. Um, so, uh, we will head in here. So a ring is just a ring. Um, this magic ring we got from the mummy last week, um, but it's gone all dull. It was all shiny before when it had his magic. Um, but alas, it's now not so shiny. Um, so we need to work out how to make it shiny again. Uh, but before we do that, let's send our little cockroach in here to grab some coinage for us. If you tap on the glass, it will move away from the direction of your taps. And you can sort of force it to, to go and grab stuff for you. Probably quite cruel. Oh, it sort of it pops about a little bit. Okay, there we go. But I actually might need these tokens for... I've only got 12 left. Although you don't really use them for anything other than... Speaking to the head. Who we don't really have easy access to anymore. But, you know what? Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! I accidentally clicked away. Apologies, everyone. <laughs> right. It's alright, I make short work of it this time. <laughs> oh, good, I've not missed Jeff, says Pushy Love Shinikin. No, no, no. Jeff Goldblum is on his way. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Give him a tap here. And here. If he hits a wall, he turns... Oh! He turns around the other way. Got them all. Cool. Let's never do that ever again. Um, so we've got a fire... It sizzles you like a sausage. Um, over here we've got an axe and a sword and a, you know, a little coin there. And you can actually pick these up. But, you know, what would I want with these? Dunno. And then you, when you leave the room, they don't come with you. So that's, that's a room. It's got a fire in it and some uh, sort of plier things. Stephen says, weren't there some behind the scenes from this uh, extras from this game? Yeah, they weren't actually behind the scenes extras that came bundled with the game, but a um, a news, an American news outlet did a, a report on them at the time, and so they took a film crew along to the studio where some of the live action stuff was being shot. So you can watch a, a video about some of the behind the scenes. So we could maybe watch it at the end if we still, if I don't manage to pad this out for the full two hours, then we can we can watch that at the end. Hey. But this is the far more important thing to watch right now. It's our final view of the strange lady who we love very much. Oh, hello again. Glad to see you made it to the dark and eerie vampire village. Home to that world famous neck nipper, Count Dracula. The joke here is it. Cannot harm me? No! 
Okay. It looks like her hair is, is falling upwards, but it's just you know like that all the that time. As blind as a bat is no longer an accepted cliche? <laughs> yeah. The SPCBV, Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Bats and Vampires, prefers as sight impaired as a night flying mammal with four limbs modified to form wings. Oh, oh that's better. Hey. Before departing our car, ooh, be sure to stop at our monster zoo, housing billions and billions of fantabulous exhibits. Now housing the two-headed Mora Stretch. I know you're going to want to check it out. <gasps> oh, wouldn't you just love to be me? So far. Suffer. She's great, and that's it. She's gone now, forever. I'll never see her again. I would love to be her, though. Um. Just had to quickly do that because I can. Uh, right, we've got this building too. In fact, let's head over here first before we get too committed. I want to see the the earlier version of this interaction before we find our extra friend. So here's the gate. That's that takes us Dracula's castle, um, and kind of out of nowhere, <laughs> that man appears, and he says he kind of does a wheezy noise. He goes <laughs> as he appears. And you click on him. Hello. Uh, you can't get into the castle until you get by me, and you can't get by me unless you hand over the ring. So come back when you've made it glow. An unpolished ring is worth. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! What? what? Ugh. <laughs> uh, that guy. That wasn't particularly obvious, but he eats bugs. He ate a little worm there. Um. And uh, later on, we'll see him eat more delicious invertebrates. Um, over here. This is what the lady was just talking about. Uh, see the most terrifying of beasts, two-headed thing of doom. Don't miss the horror m monster Gramit Gardens Squat Squanch Horrorland Park. The monster Safar. I don't know what that says. It's a two-headed Morris monster. Um, hmm. Strange. Oh, some coins. Nice. Oh, Monster Square Gardens. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, it quite clearly says square. Very clever. Monster Square Gardens. Um, right. Let's head to where we were going before. Look at these 3D sets. 3D sets. A little reference for you, to idiots. Uh, it was good. Um, so, I'm going to head in here. We're going to make a startling discovery. Remember that sniveling Morris girl has been uh, snatched for his stupendously scientific silly experiment? Hey, wonder what this stuff's for. Yeah. It's about time you got here. Lizzie? We're going to see two familiar friends in one here. Is that you? No, it's a big talky moo. Of course it's me. Oh, we said she was nothing but a slimy girl. Can you please save the hilarious insult oh, to Oh, God. I am not having a very good time here. Well, what do you want us to do about it? All I know is Madison Storm used the junk in those bottles to turn me into, well, well, whatever I am. Okay, all right. So what we gotta use is the same stuff he did to undo what he did. You were always good in chemistry. Why don't you try? Just be really careful. Okay, I was always good in chemistry. Yeah, why not just you know mix up 
a bunch of stuff and see what happens. So that's Lizzie, but she's turned into that worm that we we played a whacker game with before. Um, right, let me uh, save the game because I don't want to accidentally turn her back to Lizzie just yet. Uh, science. Because you can turn her into all sorts of other things by doing the wrong thing. Okay. Uh-oh. What's going on? Where's my body? And why do I suddenly smell like Halloween? Well, let me put it this way. You know how Dad likes to call you pumpkin? <laughs> Maybe we better try again. Uh huh. Uh, I think if we put three of anything in, it just burns. Yeah, three of three green. Oh, that's something. Oh, it's a horror. Oh man. Ouch! Sorry. <sighs> He tried to pinch it because that's how you kill horrors, apparently, in this, in this world. But I guess it doesn't work on her. Uh, okay, I think the solution is it's either two reds and a blue or two blues and a red. So let's do uh, red, red, green. Okay, red, green, green. Okay, green, green, blue. Oh, okay, green, blue, blue. Turn her into this little furry thing at some point. Okay, there it is. Oh no. Huh. This is really getting hairy. Unfortunately, so are you. Why is the camera so close to his face? Uh, can he turn her into a barber so she can sort that kid's hair out? Uh, I can turn her into clay. I've got to be careful now because I'm going to accidentally turn her into Lizzie. Two reds and a blue. Oh no, I turned her back. We don't want that. Let me skip this. What did I just do? Two reds and a blue. Let's do two blues and a red. Okay. I think that's all we can do. Clay? I'm... I'm Clay? Oh, please don't tell me I'm Clay. Well... Look on the bright side. For once, I can actually say my sister's my best friend. Right. We've done them all. Uh, red, red, blue. Let's turn it back to Lizzie. Is it true? We did it! We actually did it! I fixed Sayonara! I wouldn't go that far. Okay, now that you're back to your old self... I'm fixed, I'm normal. Track, She's just an innocent so, man. We got this ring. She's just sniffing we chemicals. Freaking mummy in the Valley of the Lost Kings. Anyways, this ring has these powers. Or at least it did until we're black again. Paying attention, Lizzie. So if we can Lizzie. use this ring to find Clay, then maybe we can use it to track down Mom and Dad. Mom and Dad? And what are you talking about? She reacted a bit quickly there. Yeah, too, didn't you know? Or at least we think they are. See, a whore handed me Dad's wallet, and we saw a bracelet in the pawn shop that looks exactly like Mom's. Horror, he said. But you haven't actually seen them, have you? A horror Do handed me some kind of Dad's wallet. Probably, and it's all up to us. And I have a feeling we're running out of time. Hey, what's that over there? Why did uh, Why did his dad give his wallet to a horror? That's my question. Um, right. Book of spells. We can play some games now. Um, oh. Now it's like Hangman, um, but obviously the more you get wrong, it then you die. But it's kind of it's uh, what it's spelling out is the the creature that you're kind of making by getting it wrong. So um I 
think this is cantankerous something, if I ring if I remember rightly. Can tank can tankerous cur, uh, curmudgeon, I think. Doesn't really it's not so fun if I just remember the solution, is it? But see that's a cantankerous curmudgeon, you see. I don't know if I remember the rest, so we'll see how we get on. Oh. Um. Oh no. Uh, Tuol? Is that an L? Oh no. Oh, uh, N. Gargantuan. Gargantuan gargoyle. Shriek. Uh, welcome in, Dead Eye Minis. Good to see you. Oh God, whatever this is, it looks creepy. Extraordinary, is that? Oh, uh, hang on. I've already done A's. Uh, or din nary. Uh, extraterrestrial. Oh, well, she flew away. That's it. We've got some coins for doing that. Uh, short stories. I am the biggest short guy you ever saw. Sp spl splat. Once in the land of short guys. Th that's where I'm from. Was I miss it a lot. Uh, the biggest short guy was in charge. Oh, yeah. I'm the biggest short guy you ever saw. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, the shortest big guy is banished from big guy land for being the shortest. Ah, he wandered far away until he came upon the land of short guys. The sight of smushed short guys made him queasy. So he, uh, he sought out the perpetrator and defeated the biggest short guy in a duel. And so the shortest big guy lived happily ever after, reigning peacefully over the assorted... Reigning? peacefully over the assorted short guys. So he still took charge. And that's it. That's the end. Um, good. Tall Tales. It's a pretty tall tale. That's another one. That's, that's fairly tall. Very tall tale. Good one. The end. It's only a wild hunch, but why don't you check out the cookbook? Um... I don't know why they tell you to do that, because you can't see what any of them are called from here. And yeah, the cookbook is the right thing to do here, but as soon as you pick it up, you get the the kind of the success state. The game says, yes, you've picked the right one up. But you don't know it's the cookbook until you pick it up anyway. So there's no point in telling it. It's, you know, sometimes this game gives you unnecessary hints. But is it the one in the middle? Book of Matches. Oh, okay, yeah, this is like hier hieroglyphics, hieroglyphs. So like that, that there is there, you see. So you say T, uh, a little star. Um, where's the little star? Is that it? That's not the same. No, it's not. Oh, there. T, U, turn. Oh, it's turn the page. Got a coin for it. Oh, now match cards. Yeah, okay. Um, are they Goosebumps book covers? Oops. Um, uh, there we go. Matched. Did it. And then this is just actual, these are some matches. So you can just... You just light some matches. Get a coin. It's weird. Matches don't come like that anymore. It's quite a dated image, that. Um, yeah, this book, when you click on it, if you listen really carefully... Just as a heartbeat. Nice. What's this? Amazing Tales, Tales, Tales. Oh, okay. Um, you can take that coin. 
Many tokens for the taking. Oh, that's a big one. Huge. Huge map. You enter in Vampire Village. These monsters look bigger than normal as well. I don't know if they're to scale or or what, but... Valley of the Kings. Grab the gold. Some of these are actually really big. You don't really realise, but... Tokens galore. That barn. Oh, there's one that's just... Just a big room with a monster in it. Dracula's Castle. Okay. I might try that one, actually. That might be quite fun. So, if we're in Dracula's Castle and we see a trash can, we'll go in it. Um, Book of Love. thing about love, of course, is... Um... Oh, sometimes it hurts. We've got a little love bite there, I think. Uh, is that the cookbook there? Cookbook. It's only a wild hunch, Whoa, but... Whoa, look at that! It's just like the picture on the pyramid wall. I bet we need to do what they're doing. So their solution is, to make the ring shiny again, we have to just do this, because it was on the pyramid wall and it's also in a book. So we're going to just do the same same thing. So anyway, we grab the cookbook, um, and I think that is it for all these books. Um, yeah, short stories. Cool. Well... done in here now yeah we are okay cool 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 sweet um i'm not sure if the guy says anything different now that lizzie's with us <laughs> you can't go in the castle without the ring uh, yeah okay uh, you can't skip uh right Let's go and make the ring shiny. Skip animation. There we go. So all we do is... And we're about to get our first glimpse of Jeff Goldblum, by the way. Um, we take the ring. We pop it in the, the like calipers or whatever these things are. And we stick it on the fire. And then we get Luke and Lizzie to just do the ceremony for us. Ooh, is everybody ready for me to cast the spell? Luke... For once your life, could you quit goofing off? This will never work unless we take it seriously. Okay. <coughs> Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool, Pam. Ak, Abinut. Abinut. They must be talking about you, Lizzie. I be nut. Stop it, Luke. <laughs> Mom and Dad. Good one. Good one, Luke. Trouble, okay? We're doing this so we have a chance to save them. All right. I'm. I'm sorry. Just that these words are so stupid. <laughs> the words are so stupid. Right. I'm calm. Ancient Egyptian. It's so stupid. <laughs> right, look in the smoke. Oh, that was a little bit of Jeff. Foggy. Foggy Jeff. Did you guys see that? Keep reading, keep reading! Uh, add a bit, a bit. What is that supposed to be? Oh, it's some, I think, some Egyptian symbols or something. I don't really know how Luke can read ancient Egyptian phonetically, but... Okay, we've got a shiny ring. It's very cool. Um, and we can take it to the man. But before we do that, we're about to... This is kind of a point of no return, actually. So, I'm going to save the game. Call it Ring. Because I want to head over here first. And, uh... Oh, there we go. Grab that. Welcome to the Monster Blood Bank. Please enter your PIN code. Now, uh, if we've been really paying attention, you'll remember that stuck to the fridge in the werewolf's house was a little piece of paper with his PIN code on it, would you believe? Which was Star Wars 1313.
13. And now, we can play this old uh, tank game. Remember this, remember this game? Um... Shoot at these tanks. Oh, yikes. I can't quite remember what the objective is. Because if it's just shoot tanks, then, you know, it's what I'm doing, but. I think they just go green again. Oh no, they, they do die. Oh, okay, so it is just a case of avoid tank projectiles and uh, shoot shoot them if you can. Because they are shooting back at me. You can see see their own projectiles. Um, you know, it's just kind of a strange... It's just something that someone clearly decided to add into the game for, for funsies, really. Um has no real relevance to anything. Oh, you can shoot their own projectiles out of the sky as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, eventually you'll just game over when they hit you, like this guy's about to. And that's it. Just a strange little, little Easter slash Christmas egg. Um, a little project that someone someone worked on, I suppose, while they were making this game. Right. Whoa, freak. Ha! Oh, oh, where Come back, come back. Oh, I need you. Oh. 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 Ew, sick me. Let's go in. Oh. Out A lovely back. cockroach. If I had known you were coming, I'd have saved. Spider for you. Ah, uh, no thanks. Excuse us for bothering you, sir, but we really need to find our parents and our friend Clay. And since we checked pretty much everywhere else, we're wondering maybe if they were in the castle. Uh -huh. In the castle? Mm hmm. You could almost count on it. Uh, let's go. Very good. May I see your invitation? He wants to see our invitation show him the shiny ring. Of course, the shiny ring, as you might remember when we fought the mummy, actually has special powers. Um, I think... I don't know. Can I give him a delicious cockroach? Instead. No. Uh, we get the ring out, and we hand it to him. Finish him. Oh, Clay, come on, Luke's a gamer. We gotta go find mom, dad, and Clay. Here we go. The come seamless on. transition Let's into go. a beautiful miniature set. Look at this. Very cool. I used to be obsessed with this castle when I was a kid. I thought it was such a cool location. I used to draw it uh, at school and stuff when we were able to, you know, we were doing art or it was like a wet wet playtime and they got all the felt tips out. I used to draw Dracula's castle. Um, they've got nothing to say. Okay. Luke at some point seems to have found a toilet because he's not bobbing up and down anymore. A gamer and advocate for murder. Yeah, that's true. I hope this is the style of gameplay slash production that's offered in the triple jump game. Well, sort of. In some ways it is. We don't have any miniature sets, but, um, you know, we've got, like, awkward green screen. Um, right, so I can go up the stairs. Uh, I can go through that door. Can I go up these stairs? In fact, I think dead ahead. I think that opens up. Does it? No, it doesn't. We are looking for a... Potentially for a... Um, a trash can here somewhere. That would be good. Because I want to 
try the um, the big underground trash can room and see if I can get some stuff out of it. Okay, so we've oh, we've come up here. There's a door over there which I don't seem to be able to go through. Big door here, not opening up. Door over there, no. It's quite um, Umbrella Core, isn't it? By which I mean C O R P S, but actually also Umbrella Core, the aesthetic that we all know and love, Umbrella Core. Um, I hope there's a bit where we can turn James Jenkins into various things by mixing chemicals. I will request that the programmer adds something like that. No promises. 90s style FMV, yeah. That is uh, it's the only way to do it. Okay, well. Let's go through this door then. I'm, I'm trying to remember where this trash can is. I sort of have a vague memory of it, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, we'll see. Oh, what's for dinner? Oh! Hey, did you see that? It's his head on a plate. He's in a cooker. They're cooking him up. How are we supposed to open this thing? There's a handle that fits into the slot on the side. The only problem is the head vampire locked me and took it with him. <sighs> oh my god, I tell you it's like getting hot in here. Okay, let's not panic. Let's think of something. <laughs> You're messing up the continuity, Luke. Now. Are you sure you didn't have your plate while you were ahead? What happened to you taking things more seriously? Okay. Right. We've got some character development here. He's taking things seriously. I know. How about I stay here to protect Clay while you guys go track down the handle? Look. Hey, maybe she can lead us to the guy we need. Has she not noticed the three kids in the room she was just in? That she's that she's walking out of? Did she not see us there at all? No? Okay. Fine. Um. Okay. Fine. Um. I'm trying to remember whether. Oh, what's this? Oh! I'm discovering all sorts of new things. I've never seen this owl before. And a drawer with a coin in it. That's cool. Is the one on the other side? Yes. These games, man. You click around enough and you'll find things. Oh my god. Oh, good grief. I had no idea the amount of work. So someone, right, went to the effort of animating this. And I never saw it. Clicked around and found out. Indeed, yeah. I'm pretty sure that through that door... There's a... That's where the trash can is. Oh my god, all of this stuff is clickable. I've never seen any of this before. So much coinage. Um, where is this trash can? Is it by the entrance? I seem to remember having been in it at some point. Because I remember the, the a very large chamber with... With, um with a monster in it, but I don't remember exactly where it is. But I do think that, that under that stage there is a... that that door opens. Let's try it again now. Maybe I had to find clay first for it to sort of be... No. Oh. Oh. Friendly ghost. Friendly ghost. Four. Oh, very spooky. Oh, oh. Oh, more bats. Okay. Worth it. I made a net loss, I think, but sure. Uh, Matt Jadith Evans, thank you for the 100 bits there. Four. Um. Bats? No bats. Okay. 
Yeah, I do wonder if maybe now that I've um, seen clay, I might have activated more areas in this. Because I don't see why you're able to come up here, because at no point, like once we've gone after that woman, um, oh. I'm learning all kinds of things today, and we're doing so together. So I can't go over there. Um. Weird. I just don't want to miss out on this, on this uh, trash can. Not that it matters that much, but you know, I wanted to do one today at least, and then uh... anyway, let's head over here. Um, we might still find it. It might be. It might be where we're going now. That might be where it is. It's like you've never played this before, says the Brotfish. It feels like it, actually. It's nice to still be discovering things in a game that you thought you knew back to front. Very fun. Right, let's go up here. And just keep your eyes peeled for a trash can. Yeah. Stand guard while I put this on. What's this brilliant idea? Why are you putting on an oversized cloak that belongs to this woman? Hey, who are you? And what do you do with that cape? It's mine! Are you an imbecile? It's too big for you. It's too big for you. What are you trying to do, huh? I am the town's tonight. Me. Me! The mix isn't always very good in this game, but she's saying, what are you trying to do? I'm the Count's date for tonight, not you. So, her suspicion is that Lizzie is trying to sort of impersonate her or make herself look nice so that she can... Ow, sizzly. Uh, so that she can um, be the, the Count's date. Uh, anyway, she's now chasing around. We need to do something to help her. Um, and the solution is clear. Fold them around the room until the right moment. It's good. I like it. No, quick, quit this on. What do you mean, no? You have to do it. Come on, have I ever steered you wrong? Okay, maybe once or twice, but. This time, I think I know what I'm doing. So we have to put a silly hat on. Give me the ring, so once I use it to hypnotize him, you can start checking his pockets for that handle. So that's her, uh, her plan, is that she will hypnotize the head vampire. That's Dracula. She's gone out of there. Ah, uh, okay, this might be where the trash can is, through that door, because she's gone that way, I think. She wants to hypnotize Dracula uh, with the ring. I think we've established it has the ability to hypnotize at some point in <laughs> in the story. Um, and uh, yeah, and she she hopes to um, allow me to search his pockets while he's hypnotized. TP probably old news, I'm sure. But did you see they're remaking Croc? Reckon it's one you will play. I did see they're remaking Croc. Oh no, that door doesn't open. Oh man, where's this trash can? Okay, well, never mind. I'll come back later if I can. Come on. But prepare yourselves now, because who do you think plays Count Dracula in this game? You've had your hints. Um, I'll uh, I'll answer your question shortly. Uh, by the way, M J E. When I get a moment, but it's time for Jeff. And the the weird scene that they've written for him. I don't know at what point he ends up under the influence of the ring. I think far too late to justify his behaviour here. Beauty. 
beauty. My beauty. Don't hide your eyes. Don't hide your eyes. How, how do you know my name? Power. Power. It's what I have. It's what I am. It's a very Jeff performance. That pathetic uh, Madison Storm thinks he runs this place, but that's just because that's what I allow him to think. Listen. Full Jeff. You and I are gonna dance. You and I are gonna dance. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. Are we gonna dance? Uh, uh, hold on. Lizzie. Lizzie. So he touches her on the forehead and she sort of goes a bit funny at the same time that she flashes in with the ring. So it's like, is he. I don't really understand. You can start checking his pockets for that hand. I've never really understood which of them at this point. Can I pause it? No, I can't. Which of them, if if any, have any agency at this point? Oh, in fact, we should have. Oh, well, I should have. I should have saved it. Hey. Okay, no, actually, I think I remember where the handle is. It's in. It's when you get the, only get the option to search one pocket, so we just won't do that. It's in the big red pocket. I want to search all of his pockets if I can. Um, right. That's a, that's a card. Is Jeff going to get Operation u -tree? I don't know. It's weird. They were too busy about, they were too preoccupied thinking whether or not they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. Right, I searched the top two. I got a coin and some chattering fangs. Uh, if you uh, search the wrong one, he gets cross with you. Oh, I think twice actually. So they're they're just they're just having a dance. He's apparently been hypnotized. That that is where the handle is. So I'm not going to click it in the hopes that. Okay, yeah, we can carry on. We can carry on dancing. I can search more pockets. He must have done this around the time he was making the Lost World Jurassic Park. It's what it, it was. That's why he did this. Yeah, um, Spielberg was involved in the creation of this game, actually. Uh oh. Hey, stay away from me. Nitwit. Called me a grubby little nitwit. Rude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see Spielberg doing a bit of a talking heads uh, on the behind the scenes video, which we can watch at the end. Um, right, I've already searched that one. Right, I've got two more to do on the next on the next one. We're going for the 106% completion here. Fang paste. I'm not taking this handle yet. I don't want it. Uh, Matt Jadith Heavens, I am aware of the croc uh, re-release that's happening. Um, I wasn't necessarily thinking that I would definitely play it. However, uh, they have confirmed that they, they are updating the control scheme. And that makes it a bit more tempting to me. I don't know if I'll stream it necessarily. Um, I might not even play it full stop, but maybe I will. I'm not really sure. But I am at least pleased to see um, that Croc is getting that treatment. Tomby 1 has had it and Tomby 2 is coming out soon-ish. Well, I don't know if there's a date, actually, but... Okay, there's a head. Hey. Um... We'll be able to get everything now. We've got one more pocket to search on on the next one. This appears to be reversed, this little segment here, just based on the physics of the clothes. Um, yeah, it's good to see that Croc's getting that treatment. Tomba 1 and 2, Soul Reaver. Uh, they've done Tomb Raiders 4 to 6 now as well, haven't they? So it's all good stuff. Well, I don't know. I've got everything now, I think. So, 
it's good stuff in a, in a way. I mean, it's still like I, I, I'll, in the same breath, I'll still complain that you know no new IP gets greenlit anymore. No one wants to take a risk on anything, um, and you know there's just loads of remakes and remasters. I think it's a good thing in terms of accessibility and game preservation. Let's grab this handle. There we go. We did it. Escape from Horrorland remake when? Oh my god, I would eat it up. They could get Jeff back in. He could still play Dracula at his age. Doesn't matter how old Dracula is. He's immortal. Right. So now she pulls out the ring. So she wasn't hypnotized, I don't think. Strange little sequence. That was close. I mean, I guess it is in it's it's part of vampire lore, isn't it? That they they can be a bit um, they're kind of seductive, aren't they? So I guess that's sort of what they're going for there. Okay. Um, can I go looking for a trash can? <laughs> See you later, guys. Oh, she's coming with me. Okay. If I head back up here, maybe the door's open now. You could do your own remake, Peter. You could play Stump. Oh. Yeah, Stump is me. No. Oh, all uh, oh, right. Okay, let's back down the stairs I've come from, I guess. Is it? Yeah. Well, we may never uh, we may never find this trash can, which is a shame. I'll have to load up a... I don't know if there are any trash cans left uh, beyond this point, so I might have to load up a save later on if I do want to do one today. But, whatever. It might be in this room, possibly, once... Uh, once we freed clay. I'm not sure. Um, so, the oven is very hot. Lava City. We stick the handle on here. Give it a pull. And uh, there's a farmer... And the farmer has a bag of grain. Uh, he has um, a, uh, a fox. And a chicken. And he's got a boat and a river. Don't know what a farmer's doing with a fox. It's his worst enemy. And also, how big is this chicken that is the size of a fox? And the, the, the grain, for that matter. Um, but you can't leave them alone together. So, to cross the river... You take the bat first, then you can uh, come back, uh, bring the bring the grain across, then return with the with the chicken, bring the fox slash werewolf, and then the bat. All right, he's free. Yes, let's get out of. High five. I'm not even gonna ask what you're wearing. Oh yeah, my little bell thing. If I'd clicked on that while I was wearing it, you can make it flick out of your face and then it drops down again later. But well, he kind of just disappeared. Well, we gotta get out of here anyways. Let's go. Dracula kind of just disappeared. To coffin ride. Oh, yeah, lovely. That sounds wonderful. I'm I'm never gonna find the Dracula's Castle uh, trash can, am I? That's it. We're about to leave Dracula's Castle, and I've not found it. What a shame. Oh well. If the uh, TTJ FMV game is a, is a success, why not try this next? Yeah, all right. Yeah, good idea. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Hate to say it, guys, but the coffin ride's gotta be our quickest way out of here. Uh, no, no, not for me. Last time was bad enough. Oh, yeah? Well, it's either that or we're gonna have to stay and deal with... <laughs> Jeff! 
Oh, Clay. Why are you running like that, boy? Uh, you can grab coins, but if you linger too long, Jeff comes. And, then, and he does that, and then you have to move on. Actually, maybe the trash can's at the start of the coffin ride. Because I guess that's still technically Dracula's castle. There's no way it's possible to grab all these coins, even if you... Well, maybe if you had a tool assisted. No human or vampire could possibly grab all of these. Wait a second. I don't have to be afraid of him. I still got the ring of rock. Uh-huh. So we've now lost our OP item. Thanks, Lizzie. There he is. There's Jeff. Oh, God, if you click on him, it, it hurts you. You lose more coins just by clicking on him. Ouch. That was the oddest, elaborate way to trap someone. Just stuffed inside a riddle safe with his head sticking through the table and an apple in his mouth. Dracula's a weird guy. He is, yeah. Uh, for context, um, the coffin ride, they, they went on this ride on their first visit to Horrorland. And you get in it, and there are bugs in there. Boo! And Lizzie knows <laughs> it. Just goofing? Oh. Mummies and it's werewolves and They'll stumble there. It's, it's like this big giant vacuum cleaner that sucks in freaks from all over the universe. Hey, but that's how we got mom and dad here. Why? What would he want them for? Unless we hurry and find them, we're never going to figure that out. What are we waiting for? Everybody grab a box and let's go! I like their logic there that the cosmic monster attractor sucks in <laughs> freaks from all over the universe and Luke says, hey, maybe let's that's how... Maybe that's how we got mum and dad here, implying that they are also freaks from across the universe. So there we go, coffin cruise. A relaxing float to the grave. Um, there's also horrible monsters in the water here. Big bats. Um, it's a horrid noise. That's just closed behind me. So Dracula can't come, I guess. That's something. Biscuits. Clicking all over. Desperately hoping to find a trash can. But I can't. It's gone. Coffin cruise. A relaxing float to the grave. Again, kind of looks like it's been done in MS Paint, but that's that's fine. Um, no, that's it. No trash can here. So clearly I'm still missing something in this game. Or maybe it's just an exit. So it's because it said it could also enter that trash can via Horrorland Plaza. So maybe if you um, hit exit, because um, there's multiple entrances and exits inside the the trash can tunnels. So possibly you can't access that from from the top. You can just leave at Dracula's castle. I don't know. Although why would the game allow you to reach Dracula's castle early via a, a trash can? I don't know. So now all these spideys come down. You have to squish them. If they reach the bottom, they will hurt you. And you have to keep in mind that this game has letterboxing, black bars. So the bottom of the screen is a lot further up than you realize. Um, and again, this re very quickly reaches speeds that are beyond the capacity of a human being. Um, and I think... I don't know if you lose coins if they... Yeah, you do. You lose coins if they touch the bomb. So, you know, the idea that someone could 100% this game with 777 coins is uh, its just not realistic. It's playing a creepy version of Incy Wincy Spider in the background. Like, you know, you can't click both of those. It's it's RNG, 
and also the reaction speeds are insane. I would love, though, to see a 100% tool-assisted super play of this game. If someone did a TAS run. Oh, we made it. Man, I'm glad that's over. Can't wait to see what they got planned for us next. Yeah. I can't wait to find the exit sign. Welcome, Knights with the Fox. <laughs> Thanks for chatting. Hello, good to see you. Do, 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 do. So we made it to the monster zoo. This is the door. We can't get in. Um, friendly ghost. Friendly ghost. Happy 420 BBBB blazing my dude's lord 16 dab. Boo oo oo. Here are some very horrible horror jokes. What horror villain is best at saving money? Pennywise. Ha ha ha. Good. What's a spooky ghost's favorite makeup? Mask area. Hi e. What do you call a spooky Italian dish? Creepy pasta. Creepy ho pasta. ho ho. What's the scariest type of cutlery? A spoon. Ha ha ha. What do you call a an spoon. undead baseball referee? A vampire. Hi ho. What type of pasta do they serve at the haunted house? Fettuccine Alfredo. Ho ho ho. Fet. Fettuccine Afredo. Okay, yeah. Um, so, in order to open the doors, we need to insert a ticket. I think it's turned off. Maybe there's a way to turn Friendly it on ghost. around here somewhere. Maybe there's a way to turn it on around here somewhere. Gold Blum. Vampire. Ring. Horror. Coffin. If you like Jeff the Vampire, then put a ring on it, blaze it. If you like Jeff the Vampire, then put a ring on it, indeed. Uh, it's 420, everyone, which, as we all know, is the sex number. It's definitely not anything else. Um, so, uh, enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you for the 100 bits there, Stephen Skodes and Lobrotovich. Thank you for blazing it, both of you. Um, here we go. That was 420. The game had to disappear in order for us to do that, but it's back. Um, let me full screen it for myself. Cool. Um, so, I think it's turned off. Maybe there's a way to turn it on around here somewhere, she says. Well, over here, the skeleton is a ticket, which we need for admit one, even though there's four of us. If we leave this area. But as she says, it's turned off, so even if I try and Put it in. I can't. Um, now, I seem to remember the first time I came to this area as a child, I uh, I did I did work out how to do this very quickly, but I don't know how because the solution is you come back over here, and here is the power button. How how, how is anyone supposed to find that? I mean, I did, but I don't know how. Um, Sophie, wow, hello, thank you for chatting. This is scary. It is actually about to get um, at least a little bit disturbing, if nothing else. Uh, we'll pop our ticket in. And now the door opens. Um, we made it into the monster zoo. It's very exciting. Arachnophobics, look away now. Or I'll look away at some point. I don't know which of these... Which of these areas, um... Which of these doorways has the spider in it? But one of them has a spider in it. So, yeah. Right, that's locked. That's the spider web one. One of these has bats in it. Ugh. Um... That's the way out, I think. What is this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did tell you last week that we'd be seeing that one again. Um, so, they're all having a chat. Um, we'll go down here first. Spider. Oof. I don't even like regular size spiders. But these? I'm going to be having nightmares for months. You seem pretty calm about it. Um, so there we go, that's a an angry spider. Uh, down here, uh, there is an octopus. Let's 
swear that thing just makes eyes at me. Maybe she's got a crush on it, Whoa! Oh, get it off me! Help me with the uh, Get it off! Uh, you better get out of here! Yeah. Horrid. You tap on the glass. It doesn't like it, but when it lifts its uh, tentacle, it reveals a key. Okay. And then down here... This is horrid. I hate this thing. So much. Yeah, that's about the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Well, I hate to say it, Lizzie. It's not a cage. It's a mirror. <laughs> it's a mirror. That one-syllable American word, mirror. Um, that skeleton get around. It so certainly does. Uh, this is a double-ended... If you can't tell what it is, because it does kind of blend in, it's a double-ended crocodile. But you can, like, tickle it under the chin. Oh, and I hate it so much. It giggles. So, there we go. That's the puzzle we've got. We've got a key in the, um, in the octopus thing. Um, and where we're trying to get is, um... Not in there. Trying to get through the locked door, which is, is that this one? Yeah. Um, so we need the key in there, is what we need to do. Um, now the way we do that is, we come down here first. And we need the spider to go away, because just behind it there is some string. We've actually got a magnet that we took from the, the fridge in the werewolf's house. Now, that's a non-essential item. You did, it might be that we don't actually have that. So, But as you'll see in a minute. Um, so, hang on. We give this bug to the spider. Makes that horrible chewing noise from earlier. It goes away and we take it straight. When we put it in our inventory, the magnet just attaches to it by, by itself. You never have to do any combining of items in this game. So let's just sort it out for you. Um, so what we would ne what we would do next if we didn't have the werewolf's magnet is we would come to the crocodile room, give it a tickle, and there's a magnet under his chin there. So that's oh, it's joined together. We've got double magnets now. This should be extra useful. And then is it this way for the octopus thing? Yeah, it is. So we wait for it to lift its arm for the key to appear. There it is. And then we click, and then we've got a magnet on a string, you see. Um, but you have to do it in time before it reaches out and grabs you. There we go. Because the octopus will, will grab, you, grab your head and give you a squeeze. And we're about to, we're actually about to finish the game now. So, oh, <laughs> I mean, we love it. We love that. Never get too much of that. Um... There we go. So, we pull that, and that has raised this portcullis here. And look, it's the two-headed Morris, Morris Stretch that we were warned about. Mom and Dad! Mom and Dad? It's Mum and Dad tied together. You can't stay here, kids. Get out of the zoo. Run for your lives. Get out of the zoo. No horrors. Horrors. Oh, it's a very pantomime, isn't it? Love his little jump. Um, anyway, we try and pull this lever and we can't but as you may have noticed in the cupboard back there there was immediately the item that we need for for the next puzzle which is that and that will help us pull that lever so it's you know it's not a difficult game before we go of course one more look at her 
That's her second appearance uh, in the game. And although we are just about to finish the game, there is a third appearance from that skeleton coming soon. Um, so, we give this a spray. And a yank. And the bars come up. And prepare now for Deus Ex Clay. The, the worst plot point in this game. And there are some bad plot points in this game. Oh, the octopus has got out. Made it. Budget. I like all these little characters who are only in this scene. I'll catch you up on all this dialogue if you can't make out what's being said. Anyway, now, Clay says not so fast, and suddenly... Don't ask me how, you guys, but I did it. Okay, um, so... Everyone was here, ready to watch Mum and Dad get uh, dropped into this, which, for some reason, my in my mind, this is called the Purple Pond. And I'm trying to remember if it's ever actually referred to that at any point in the game. Maybe it is in the, um... In these things. What's the most... Re oh, I'm going to get the last... Oh, I'm going to get all of these, actually. There's one left, and it's we're about to pick it up in the lift. What's this one, though? Lost in the monster zoo, you'll need to go fishing for your clues. Okay, uh, I think we'll get it in the in the lift as we go up. Um, that might be where there's a reference to it being called the Purple Pond. It's good noises. Oh, yeah. I like that. ASMR. Um, so they're going to be dropped into what I am going to refer to now from this point on as the Purple Pond. Maybe it's not called that. But if they do, they get... I think they get turned into horrors. Um, we were standing here. Madison Storm came on the speaker saying, ever since you guys left Horrorland the last time, everyone here started to wonder if I was losing my touch. So here I am to you know, prove that I'm, I've never been more on top of my game. Then Clay is suddenly at the top of the tower. And he's like, hey, don't ask me how you guys, but I did it. I reversed the polarities of the monster attractor, so it's about to blast all of these monsters back into the stratosphere. Then Madison Storm says, you've messed with the circuitry, it's going to create an explosion that will destroy all of Horrorland. So they've run up there now to help Clay, and here we are. But before we go up there, you might wonder why I'm still dilly-dallying around here. Because there's a very important final appearance, a swan song, you might say. If I click on the purple pond, There she is. No sound effect. Just... It's just there. And there's a tiny... There's just some pixels there you can see to hint, to suggest that she might be there. I'm just going to do a bit of clicking around. Okay. 
See? I'm just going to do some clicking around because, you know. Oh, yeah. This is a weird thing. It just it moves around the screen, and then when you click on it, it explodes. Really odd. I forgot about this. Like, quite a violent explosion. <laughs> um, anything else? Is that it? That's about it. Okay. We'll go up the lift. We'll grab the final token, the final card. Um, good on us. Getting all of those. You have to be quick. It's through one of these windows. I think it's on the left. And maybe this is where it says Purple Pond. Because I don't know where I've got that from otherwise. Maybe I've just made it up. There it is. We got it. Can we pause before we get to the final cutscene? Is it a Purple Pond? Decisions, decisions, but what's a body to do? Keep good old mom and dad from a slimy fate in the purple pond? There we go. Or stop the monster magnet from blowing. To save the day and do both, you'll need to test your strength and your colourful memory. You'll see why that is relevant shortly. Only 56 out of 777 tokens as we near the end of the game. <gasps> Stump! It's our friend Stump. Stump is me. But so glad you decided to join us. I've been hoping we'd meet. Face! Face! Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm Stump. Stump is me. One in the same. One in One same. One in the same. <laughs> it's been that way all along. <laughs> it's one of those things, isn't it, that people say. Could care less. Though, Pacifically. I can't destroy you according to my Damp squid. Plan, poor little meddlesome clay here has ensured that your end is still at hand. When my beautiful cosmic monster attractor blows, you horrible kids will explode along with it. Vice versa. <laughs> hmm. And it'll all be on the monster channel. Check your local list. Check your okay, local you listings. He's Just a bit Billy on. Joe Armstrong. He is actually. Just hang on. The crank on the wall. Get over there and try the crank. While you're at it, maybe there's something you can do to keep the attractor from exploding. No, but first do the crank. Just dump the attractor, then do the crank. Do them both, but please hurry. Do whatever you like. None of it matters. It's much too late. So he lets us do whatever we like. I'm going to save the game here and call it um, End Game. Because we're going to come back and do multiple endings here. So we are faced with um, Mum and Dad on the Purple Pond. Um, the Monster Tractor about to explode. We've got four minutes down here to do the Monster Tractor. If we click on it... We've got this clock running around the outside. See that? And as you can tell, there's a fairly simple solution to solving it. It's Simon. Uh, these little dots fill in as the as it ticks ticks down. Uh, and then down here we see Mum and Dad about to fall. But the crank over here extends the plank, you see? If you look at the plank underneath their feet, it extends their, their time. So... What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to allow... I'm going to run down the clock, basically. And um, we're going to... Whatever happens first, whether it's mum and dad fall in the pond uh, or not. Um, or, or, or it explodes first. We'll see what happens. But there are at least two... End well, there's, there's uh, a, a sort of an A and B ending here and then a C and D ending here and you get one of one from column one and one from column two you get so there are there's a I think there are four combinations of endings but really there's just two first cutscenes and two second cutscenes if that makes sense as to whether you fail this or fail this or both um but uh, if you click on Madison Storm, he just points at his clock. He doesn't mind that you're about to try and defuse this exploding machine or stop Mum and Dad from falling in the pond. Um, let's watch them go, shall we? Um, 
But uh, yes, we'll uh, we'll we'll take a look at the multiple endings. I'm hoping that that the mum and dad are gonna fall as soon as it goes out from under that that left stick man's foot. No, we've got to wait a little longer. Um, oh, they're ready to go there. They're 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 gonna fall. Oh, they're looking very worried, and rightly so. Can I save save as a uh, dead parents? Dead pa parent, so we don't have to watch that again. Cool. Well, we've got a minute and a half to. Uh, you know what? As we've waited, we'll we'll also run down the clock and let the bomb explode. So we've got both fails there, um, and then we'll see what happens. And then I can load it up again and do the ones that don't involve sitting around and waiting all this time. Uh, we've got a minute left. Um, everyone just has Lizzie scream. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if that was Lizzie screaming as she watched her parents plummet into the purple pond, or if... Uh, oh, I can still extend the plank. Uh, or if it was her parents, her mum screaming. Not sure. Um, yeah, Simon. Simon? We've got 40 seconds. Well, and then the machine's got to explode. That's not good. Bad is is good. I'm still going to let it blow up. I'm just showing you the different sounds it does. Oh, that's a good noise. Good one. <laughs> Love it. Three seconds. Oh no. How much as I'd like to die with you kids, this is where I make my exit. Oh! Little jump in the background there. Sorry, I've just let your parents die, guys. Sorry about that. Can I cut them loose? If you can't stop the machine, the least you could do is untie us! Hurry! Oh my god. Boom. Oh, Dracula's castle on the horizon there. There it goes. Orlando's exploded. And their parents are dead. So let's see what happens now. So that's the... If the bomb goes off. Cutscene. And this is the your parents dropped in the purple pond cutscene. It's from a dad. They're here. They didn't drown in the purple pond after all. Brilliant. Children, you made it. Oh, my baby's coming. <laughs> the end. <laughs> That's it. That's what happens. Um, so here we go. Here are all the... If Clay is still ahead of the game, you'll need to get a handle. The, the, the werewolf eats the bat. Bat eats the bug. These are all the hints that you can get. We've got all of them. That's fun. And only 56 tokens. Well, um, that's that's the ultimate fail state there. We'll go on end game without our dead parent. And we will... Um, we'll, we'll defuse the bomb now without them dying. Cool. Let's go. It'll only take a minute. Simon! Oh, <laughs> 
Sorted. Here's a double success state for you. This is what happens when you defuse the bomb. You get sucked up into his monster attractor and sent back into the stratosphere. And the ropes disappear somehow. Did they get sucked into the tube, maybe? Oh, and he's dropped a little... Don't don't do it. Oh. No. I wonder what this thing's for. The detonator. So they still blew up Horrorland, but I suppose they wanted to, just not while they were in there. But there was never a risk of them dying in an explosion. So, Horland destroyed. See you later, Clay. Parents alive. Man, never thought this house would look so good to me. Why did you never think the house would look so good to you? It's a nice enough house. and they got back before us somehow. I love it. It's such a goosebumps ending. Oh, we wangled a ride for our, from our new neighbor, Maddie. Hi, kids. He's already, he's got a coffee already. Have we met? He's got his Hawaiian shirt on. And for some reason, the mum and dad don't recognise that it's Madison Storm, even though they were fully aware of Horrorland and everything about it. Um, you know, all that stuff. But hey, whatever. It's fine, right? Um, right, let's head back to um, Ring. Yeah. Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, let's skip that. Let's skip that man. Um, I mean, maybe this is the Dracula's castle trash. Is this a big, great big chamber? No, it's not. Oh, it's a spooky one. Well, they're all spooky, but it's a. Uh... It's got a lot of coins. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it got me. Monsty got me. Okay, hang on. Let me quit out of here. The other entrance to the one that I wanted to try was in Horrorland Plaza. I, I remember that. So if I skip through here. I've probably got Lizzie with me now, haven't I? I think, now that she's been the dewormed, as it were. Oh, but she stayed. She stayed in there. Uh, on the other side of the bat barn. Right. So there's two in Horrorland Plaza. It's one of these two. Give me the one with the big room. That's not a big room. Oh my god. They're so horrid. Who who designed that monster? Awful. Okay. That's that one. Let's just try this other one. See if it's the big room. And if it's not, we'll call it there. We've pretty much covered everything, including the, sn the farting snowmen and uh, the exploding skull. Go 
for them. Oh, that's it. No, we can't. We can't get to the to the Dracula's castle one. <laughs> that was so horrid. Um, somewhere in Dracula's castle, clearly there's a room that I've still not discovered, um, and you can go in it and you can go into an interesting looking trash can that's just a giant chamber with one monster in it. Just seemed like it might be a fun one to do, but hey, I couldn't find it. And I do just in in my somewhere in my mind, I kind of I can almost picture a trash can in in Dracula's castle, but you know, I don't know where it is. Anyway, one for the road. Brilliant. Well, everyone, um, that is the end of another little adventure in a horror land. Um, I discovered today, only today, I mean, I'm sure I probably knew about this already um, from some other uh, occasion, but uh, I'd certainly forgotten about this information. But I discovered today that there is an actual um, PS2 Goosebumps Horrorland game. I think it's just called Goosebumps Horrorland. Um, on the PlayStation 2. I have no idea what kind of quality it is, what kind of game it is even, whether it's like an adventure game like this or if it's just a, a mini game collection or a party game for multiplayer. I don't know what it is. Um, but I, I almost feel like I still had a, a Halloween stream left to maybe give that a go. Um, you know, might be rubbish. Maybe it's not worth streaming, but... Um, I can't believe that I've slept on that all this time because I've played The Masked Mutant, which is the other PC uh, DreamWorks Goosebumps game. We played that last Halloween and that was a lot of fun as well. VOD available on the VODs channel if you want to watch me playing that. Um, but uh, yeah, well, perhaps next <laughs> next year, next Halloween, we could play Horrorland um, on the PS2 or before then, maybe. If it looks like it's something uh, that would be good to stream, then I don't actually have to wait till Halloween to play it. But um, I do still have one more stream left this month. So you might say, Peter, why are you saying you don't have a Halloween stream left when actually next week that's still October? Well, because as most of you will know already, uh, next week we will be doing the annual Halloween watch along where we sit down together and I play you some strange, obscure media with a spooky twist. Um, you know, we'll be doing the same at Christmas time this year, of course. But uh, yeah, it's now become just as much of a tradition to do it at Christmas, uh, to do it at Halloween. So uh, I will get some stuff uh, queued up and ready to go, and we will watch some spooky, spooky stuff uh, next week. So do not miss that. Join me right here, same time, same place, for a spooky Halloween watch along. Uh, nosy Bonk 2, The Return of Nosy Bonk. Everyone wants to see Nosy Bonk, seemingly. Hey, I can throw the Nosy Bonk, uh, nosy bonk in there. Um, of course, we do always... We have our Nosy Bonk here. Um, here he is. Can I get the camera to focus on Nosy Bonk and his nose gaze? Will it, will it focus on that? Cover my face. I'm not real. Focus on... I don't think I think that's too close for it to focus, but you can make out his haunting silhouette at least, right? There he is, Nosy Bonk. Um, good. Well, that's it. Um, that's the dated kids TV from the intro song. Yes, it is. It only comes around a few times a year, but the dated kids TV from the intro song will be happening next week. Uh, tap peel is open, all that good stuff. Um, the camera is trying so hard not to focus on him yet. It doesn't want any, it, it's trying to do you all a favor. You don't want to see Nosy Bonk. Right, cool. Well, um, yes, join me next week for spooky stuff. And uh, thanks for being with me today. Slightly early finish, but uh, I did my very best to pad it out. Oh, we, I said we could watch the, um, the behind the scenes stuff, didn't I? But I've not got it queued up and I've now done enough of an outro that probably a lot of people have left already. So, hey, if you want to check out some behind the scenes stuff from the production of Goosebumps Escape from Horrorland, it's very easy to find on YouTube. Just search Goosebumps Escape from Horrorland BTS or The Making Of or 
something like that. And it's just um, a, a film crew went along to the uh, the studio, big green screen rooms and stuff. Jeff Goldblum is there, looking a bit weird, staring down the lens, saying, "I am Dracul, Dracul." That's all he does. He just looks like he's totally out of it. Um, and then they have like the the werewolf suit kind of. Things. It looks like in the game, it looks like it's an animatronic, but it's actually a man in a suit, which is crazy, or a woman. Um, so check it out if you've not seen it already. It's really interesting, actually. Um, and uh, also Pogo, the guy who does those interesting uh, remixes of film and TV into sort of atmospheric, nice kind of electronic music. He did one on um, Escape from Horrorland. So maybe go and listen to that. You'll probably understand a lot more of the references now. Uh, now that you've seen the game in full, go check out Pogo Horrorland, I think it's called. Um, I really like it. Cool. Well, that's it from me. See you next week. And in the meantime, I'll see you on the joint stream, I'm sure. Um, wonderful. All right, then, everyone. Bye for now.